very first face-to-face -face interview ever. Okay. Oh, nice. So I'm we'll very nervous. Again. What? Yeah. Like very nervous. As we are. Okay. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> we are in the same place. All day. Every the day. The thing is that we've been doing a lot of interviews, but I was very nervous at the beginning. Yeah. This is something that I have no idea. Jonas is a good guy or a bad guy? Good question. Good question. Good question. Please, give us some answers. <laughs> yes, he certainly seems bur burdened by the weight of knowledge that it's, it, it's, it's almost oppressive, isn't it? Um, there's ambiguity in, in many people, in you, me, Miguel, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, life is complex and it's, you can't define someone in terms of black and white. Um, but yes, there, there's a sense of menace and, menace, uh, and mystery about him. But um, ostensibly, he is imparting knowledge for a reason. The fact that he allows the eight characters to know who they are, what they're feeling is real and not bullshit or uh, illusion or mental illness is incredibly important. Um, where that will go, I don't know. I read somewhere that San City will have five seasons. Do you know that? <laughs> I mean, we knew, in a way, when we started, we knew that... Uh, that was the idea. That was the idea, but I don't have any information about that. So I hope there's many... Do you sign for more seasons? We, yeah, we, we made a, a big deal in that sense, yeah. like a long-term deal. But we'll see what's going on. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I guess it depends, like the decision is not on our hands. Yeah. Because if it would be in my hands, <laughs> we will start <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> shooting the <laughs> second <laughs> one. <laughs> of course. Uh, what's the intention? Did, uh, that was the intention of the show since the beginning. The, the, the export, the, the emotional, not the, the powers. Abs absolutely, yes. Um, uh, because, as we said, it, while um, you see you see violence, you see sexuality, you see um, things that ordinarily in the cinema or on TV would be incredibly entertaining. Underneath it, there's something deeply profound going on, in my opinion, and uh, and quite what that is. Um, how would you how would you relate that to to an audience? I mean, again. It, we live in a deeply cynical world. To me, it's about love. You know, if we are all connected, uh, what does that mean? What is the nature of in intimacy? Because it can make some people incredibly un uncomfortable. How is it working with, with Wachowskis? Thrilling. 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 And completely unpredictable because... Challenging you, too. Yeah, you just uh, abandon your normal frame of reference. You're thrown into an arena where you have to trust. You have to be vulnerable. And it can take you places that allow you to um, somehow viscerally and, and in an emotional sense get to where your character is in the piece. I completely agree. They like to work on, on you being as vulnerable as possible, as transparent as possible, and they like you to, to fail and the way you wake up, that's, uh, where, uh, that's what they are interested in. The way you wake up and you resolve things in the moment. So, um, it's very refer it's very nice and challenging for an actor because they get the best from you. They get they try to get your spontaneity. Uh, you work with Almodovar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, um, Pedro also likes to to work in that sense. I, I we were talking before about that. I think they well they admire themselves. Uh, I know uh, because I spoke with the Wachowskis and with Almodovar, and Pedro likes to portray drama. Uh, and always putting in some spice and, and comedy on it because he believes life is like this. Yeah. So it's very interesting to be directed by him because you're suddenly portrayed in a very dramatic uh, scene, but his directions are hilarious. <laughs> so it's very, it's very fun.